Garcia de Orta, Wikipedia Audio Garcia de Orta was a Portuguese Renaissance Sephardi Jewish physician, herbalist, and naturalist. He was a pioneer of tropical medicine, pharmacognosy, and ethnobotany, working mainly in Goa, then a Portuguese overseas territory. Garcia de Orta used an experimental approach to the identification and use of herbal medicines rather than the traditional approach of using received knowledge. His magnum opus was a book on the simples and drugs published in 1563 Colloquios dos Simples e Drogas de India, the earliest treatise on the medicinal and economic plants of India. Carolus Clusius translated it into Latin which was widely used as a standard reference text on medicinal plants. Garcia de Orta died before the Inquisition began in Goa but in 1569 his sister was burnt at the stake for being a secret Jew and based on her confession his remains were later exhumed and burnt along with an effigy. Memorials recognizing his contributions have been built both in Portugal and India. Garcia de Orta was born in Castelo de Vidi, probably in 1501 the son of Fernau de Orta, a merchant, and Leonor Gomez. He had three sisters, Violante, Caterina, and Isabel. Their parents were Spanish Jews from Valencia de Alcantara who had taken refuge, as many others did, in Portugal at the time of the great expulsion of the Spanish Jews by the Reyes Catolicos Ferdinand and Isabella of Spain in 1492. Forcibly converted to Christianity in 1497, they were pejoratively classed as Cristaos Novos and Moranos. Some of these refugees maintained their Jewish faith secretly. A friendly neighbor at Castelo de Vidi was the nobleman Dom Fernau de Souza, Lord of Le Bruja who may have influenced the idea for Garcia's father to send him to university. Dom Fernau's son Martim Afonso de Souza would become a key figure in later life. Garcia studied medicine, arts, and philosophy at the universities of Alcala de Henares and Salamanca in Spain. He graduated and returned to Portugal in 1525, two years after his father's death. He practiced medicine first in his hometown and from 1526 onwards in Lisbon, where he gained a lectureship at the university in 1532. He also became royal physician to John III of Portugal. Life Perhaps fearing the increasing power of the Portuguese Inquisition, and fortunately evading the ban on emigration of new Christians, he sailed for Portuguese India leaving Tagus in March 1534 as chief physician aboard the fleet of Martim Afonso de Souza, later to be named governor. He reached Goa in September. He travelled with Souza on various campaigns, then, in 1538, settled at Goa where he soon had a prominent medical practice. He was physician to Burhan Nizam Shah I of the Nizam Shahi dynasty of Ahmad Nagar, and concurrently to several successive Portuguese viceroys and governors of Goa. While Garcia de Orta was physician of the Sultan and teacher of Portuguese of his son, the Prince, he met and dined several times with the high-ranking cavalry general of the Sultan, Firji Khan. Garcia de Orta reports that the cavalry commander violated sometimes religious directives, eating pork and drinking wine in these private dinners. Firji Khan had converted to Islam for apparently material reasons and had a very important role in the court of the Sultanate, but subsidized charities to misericordias in the relationship he had with the Portuguese Empire and, according to Orta, urged other Christians to never abdicate their principles. He even projected return to his home city in his country. Firji Khan was not his title of origin. 
His name was Sancho Pires, a formerly gunner, Portuguese, and natural of Matosinhas. He died in battle in India. The King of Portugal through the Viceroy Dom Pedro Mascarenhas granted a lifelong lease to Garcia de Orta for the Ilhada Boa Vida which became a part of Bombay. This was probably somewhere between September 1554 and June 1555. The only condition of the lease was that he had to improve the place. He had a manor house with a large garden. He probably maintained an excellent library here. This manor stood not far from where the town hall of Bombay was built. Garcia probably let out the house to Sameo Toscano. At the time of Bombay's transfer to the English, the manor was occupied by Dona Ignata Miranda, widow of Dom Rodrigo de Monsanto. It was in this house that the treaty by which Bombay was transferred to the English was signed by Humphrey Cook on February 18, 1665. Garcia describes the people around Bassin and their traditions in his book. Colloquios dos Simples e Drogas de India Band 1 Imprensa Nacional Lisboa 1891 Digital Edition by the University and State Library Dusseldorf, Colloquios dos Simples e Drogas de India Band 2 Imprensa Nacional, Lisboa 1892 Digital Edition by the University and State Library Dusseldorf, Histoire de Drogues, Espiceries Et de certains médicaments simples, qui nice sent es en et en el Americ, devise en du parties, la première comprise en four livres, les du premiers de Garci du Jardin, le troisième de Christophe de la Coste, et le quatrième de l histoire du balm, a juste de nouveau en cest tu. Ed. Ouilest prouvé. K. New Savens le vrai balm d'Arabie, contre l'opinion des anciens et modernes, la seconde composita du livres de Maister Nicolas Menard très actant de ce qui nous est à port de l'Americ. Lion, Pilhot, 1619. Digital edition of the University and State Library Dusseldorf. Contrary to some early biographical accounts, Garcia de Orta married a wealthy cousin, Brianda de Solis, in 1543, the marriage was unhappy, but the couple had two daughters. In 1549 his mother and two of his sisters, who had been imprisoned as Jews in Lisbon, managed to join him in Goa. According to a confession by his brother-in-law after his death, Garcia de Orta privately continued to assert that the law of Moses was the true law, in other words, he, probably in common with others in his family, remained a Jewish believer. In 1565, an inquisitorial court was opened in Dianagoa. Active persecution against Jews, secret Jews, Hindus, and new Christians began. Garcia himself died in 1568, apparently without having suffered seriously from this persecution, but his sister Katarina was arrested as a Jew in the same year and was burned at the stake for Judaism in Goa on October 25, 1569. Garcia himself was posthumously convicted of Judaism. His remains were exhumed and burned along with an effigy in an auto de fe on December 4, 1580. They were among 342 new Christians accused of crypto-Judaism of whom 68 were executed between 1561 and 1623. His books were most likely burnt as well, possibly a reason why no copy of his book exists in Goa. The fate of his daughters is not known. During his lifetime, 
Orta had been protected from the Goa Inquisition by his friend and patron, Martim Afonso de Souza, Governor-General of Portuguese India from 1542 to 1545. Garcia de Orta's busy practice evidently prevented him from travelling much beyond the west coast of India, but in the busy market and trading hub of Goa he met spice merchants, traders and physicians from many parts of southern Asia and the Indian Ocean coasts. He was confident in Portuguese, Spanish, Hebrew, Latin, Greek and Arabic. His work shows that he gathered considerable knowledge from traditional medicine practitioners from several regions of India. Correspondents and agents sent him seeds and plants, he also traded in spices, drugs, and precious stones. He evidently kept a laboratory and botanical garden. De Orta was influenced by Unani medicine as well as Ayurveda although quoting Galen, Alrazi, and Ibn Sina more often. He tended to use European approaches in medicine and only when they failed did he make use of local methods. His remarkable knowledge of Eastern spices and drugs is revealed in his only known work, Colloquios dos Simples e Drogas he Cusas Medicinais de India the first edition of which was published at Goa in 1563. This book deals with a series of substances, many of them unknown or the subject of confusion and misinformation in Europe at this period. For instance, prior to his publication, tamarind was thought to come from a palm tree. He also noted many details on plants and their propagation. He was the first European to describe the symptoms of several Asiatic tropical diseases, notably cholera, he performed an autopsy on a cholera victim, the first recorded autopsy in India. Garcia de Orta reveals in his writings an unusual independence in face of the usually revered texts of ancient authorities, Greek, Latin and Arabic. The Colloquios has 59 chapters and it was written in the style of a dialogue between De Orta and a traditional doctor, Ruano. Using a dialogue form was a common literary practice when dealing with the tensions between established and new forms of knowledge. Orta's work questions assumptions made in the past with alternative hypotheses to the ideas from Ibn Sina and Averroes. His scientific method has been suggested to be a combination of empiricism and hypothesism. De Orta critiqued the work of Leonhard Fuchs. Through his character he commented that Fuchs, knew little of physic, and still less of things to save his soul, being a heretic condemned for Lutheranism. His books were put in the condemned catalogue and though medicine is not the science of the Christian religion, still I abhor the author. In one place he points out that the Portuguese traders took little interest in acquiring knowledge. The Portuguese, who navigate over a greater part of the world only procure a knowledge of how best to dispose of that merchandise of what they bring here and what they shall take back. They are not desirous of knowing anything about the things in the countries they visit. If they know a product they do not learn from what tree it comes, and if they see it they do not compare it with one of our Indian trees, nor ask about its fruit or what it is like. The printing press was introduced into Goa in 1556. The printer for Garcia is thought to have been Jao de Endem who began with Jao Quinquenio de Campania and continued after him. The rare first edition was full of typographical errors and was only the fifth European book ever printed in Goa and among the first few from India. The errata, probably the longest in printing history, ran to 20 pages and end with a statement that the list was probably incomplete. The English translation by Clemence Markham included illustrations of some of the Indian plants by Cristoveo da Costa. 
Markham considered de Costa's work published in Spanish in 1578, Tractatu de las Drogas y Medicinas de las Indias Orientales to be largely based on that of de Orta but some others have pointed out significant differences. Work Garcia's travels to Portuguese Salon on campaigns with Martim allowed him to study Sri Lankan medicinal plants. Among the descriptions from here are plants used in the treatment of snake bite. Some of the information is based on folklore, such as the plants that were supposedly eaten by mongoose after being bitten by cobras. Orta also described plants of forensic importance such as the use of datura used by thieves and robbers to poison their victims. The preface of the book includes a verse by his friend the poet Luís de Camões, now considered as Portugal's national poet. Luís de Camões had been worked briefly in Portuguese Macau before returning to Goa in 1561. In his poem Os Lugidas, Camões plays on the word Orta which refers to his friend as well as Mean Garden. The book was dedicated to D.O.M. Francisco Coutinho, Count of Redondo, Viceroy of Goa from 1561 to 1564, and to his friend Martim de Souza. In the preface he pointed out that he could well have written the book in Latin but chose Portuguese so that the traders and other locals could make use of it. Garcia de Orta's work was accidentally discovered by Clusius in early 1564 and he translated it into Latin, while also changing it from a dialogue to an epitomized form, and this was widely read across Europe and underwent several editions. The first edition of Garcia de Orta's book was in Portuguese and published from Goa in 1563 and had 217 pages. Only about six copies were thought to exist according to Valentine Ball in 1890. A second version was published in Lisbon in 1872. An abridged Latin version was produced by Carolus Clusius in 1567 with subsequent editions in 1574, 1579, 1582, 1584, 1593. 1595 and 1605 6. A translation of the Latin version into Italian was produced by Annibal de Briganti in 1576, followed by other editions in 1582, 1589, and 1616. A Spanish version of the Tractatu of Cristobal A. Costa which included Clusius's abridgment and A. Costas's personal observation was published in 1578 from Burgos. Garcia's work influenced a number of later herbals and botanical works including those by Juan Fragoso, Nicolas Menards, Hendrik van Reed and Jacobus Bontius. The Jardim Garcia de Orta a public garden in Lisbon, as well the Escola Secundaria Garcia de Orta High School in Porto and the Hospital Garcia de Orta in Almada, are named in his memory. In Goa, the municipal garden in the capital city of Panjim has been named as Garcia de Orta in his memory. It is located facing the main city square that also houses the majestic Church of Our Lady of Immaculate Conception and was renovated in 2010. A postal stamp of Garcia de Orta was released by Portugal in 1963. In 1971, the 20 Escudos banknote carried a picture of Garcia de Orta. Books Legacy Garcia de Orta has been Latinized in some works as Garcia Subhorto and then translated variously with some French works referring to him as de la Huerta and Dujarta. 
Name variants. Notes.